Hello, more smiles of Beverly. Uh, my name is Malcolm. Uh, just had a brief conversation with Rachel. Went ahead and uh, wanted to make this for Carmen. Um, this video uh, is just going to show you how you can increase the number of patients to your website and increase the amount of consultations you do monthly. If you have any further questions or interest after this video, feel free to give me a contact. Okay. Um, so here we go. So the three things that Google likes to see and will allow you to get on that first page um, is content with keywords, backlinks, and citations. Okay, so as far as content goes, Google likes to see anywhere between uh, 1,000 to 1,500 words on, uh, on your homepage or any page that you want to be searched for. And as I look through this, I would say... Just um, ballpark, I'd say anywhere between five to 600 words. Not too bad, but there is room for improvement. And um, within the, uh, within the, the, uh, the content, um, Google likes to have uh, keywords, uh, searchable keywords. Um, you know, things like you know, uh, dental implants, you know, crowns and bridges. These are, these are good. This is very good. And um, also, I don't want to leave out that your site is very uh, aesthetically pleasing. It's a very good looking site. I do like it. So um, so went over your site, uh, and then just to uh, give a little comparison, um, we have your uh, your competition here, um, Midwest uh, Orthodontics. They are they're basically in the lead when it comes to um, Google stats. Uh, they're they they're up top in this search right here in Braces Chicago. This is what I was um what I was searching through, and they're right up top. So that's why I went ahead and I used them. Um, they also have, you know, the keywords up here that are searchable, a uh, good amount of content, um, not that much, but there is a way that they are being successful and I want to show you how. So first, um, like I said, uh, we went over the content, now we're going over the keywords. So this tool that I have, AREFs, it allows me to look at the, the analytics behind the site and I can check out what keywords uh, a page is being searched for. And we see here uh, more smiles of Beverly, dentures, amalgam, uh, more smiles, more smiles of Beverly. See these, um, these are pretty good. Um, these are you know branded words. So you know, let's say if you have like an ad out or something like that, or word of mouth, and somebody wants to search for your company, they'll definitely find you, and you're in the first position. Um, and you're getting about 16 people a month for this. So that's excellent. Um, one thing about the dentures and amalgam, even though these are good things to be searched for, there's a an extremely high volume for these, and um, it's not location based because people can be anywhere searching for dentures. They can be in, you know, uh, Georgia. They can be in California. They can be in Alaska, and they type in dentures. And um, you know, them being that far, even though it uh, it will bring a lot of traffic to your site. Um, they won't have the opportunity of being patients, and they won't have an opportunity of being a part of your family. So um, I went over here to Midwest Orthodontics. Uh, they also have quite a bit of keywords, but let's take a look. And this is um, what I like to do. Uh, even though they have a branded keyword right here, this is what I like to do. I like to see what uh, brands are being searched for. And this here, this is what I call a location and niche-based keyword. So Invisalign Chicago, these are people who are typically living in Chicago and they're looking for somebody to, you know, deliver this service for them. And, and uh, this, is what you're, uh, this is what you're looking for. This is what will give you those new patients, those new consultations, braces Chicago, you know, things that are location based. And um, you see here that there is an incredible um, amount of volume. And as far as KD goes, as keyword difficulty, it's on a scale of zero to 100. So with it being a five, that's a very uh, that's a very easy word to um, to rank for, and they're getting quite a bit of traffic for it. And this is monthly. This is a monthly average. So that's essentially how uh, how the keywords work. Now I'll show you how the backlinks work. Um, and backlinks is typically a uh, basically what it is is another site um, pointing at you, just saying, hey, you know, those those are uh, those are the go-to people. That's who you want to go to for this service. Um, you know, so it's kind of like you know, like a, a popularity contest. The more sites that you have pointing at you, the more Google deems you as a, a big player within um, that specific keyword. 
So, um, so yeah, so the keywords play a, a major role in the backlinks, and that's what that's what allows uh, Google to know what to rank you for. And it's good um, also with the backlinks to have uh, niche specific backlinks, so because not every backlink is created equal. So here, look for uh, look for medical, emergency, dental service. These are good to have. These are very good to have. And I and um, I would say that you have a, a good backlink profile. Uh, there's a, a lot of good strength to that. Um, it's just the keywords is what I would say needs the most. Uh, um, it has the most room for improvement. Okay, and just taking a look at Midwest Orthodontics, they uh, they do have quite a bit of uh, backlinks and what I like to do I like to see where um, the competition is getting their success and what I can do is go in to see what links that they have and I can add your links to these sites and you'll receive that same success okay so we spoke about uh, backlinks spoke about content uh, now let's speak about uh, the citations so with citations, the, the more you have and the more powerful you have, you'll end up in this area here. Because as we know, a lot of people, they don't go past the first page. And a lot of people definitely don't go past this map pack. So all the citation is, is um, your name, address, and phone number anywhere on a uh, internet directory. And that'll uh, get you here. So we have your competition here. And we see that they have uh, 31 sources. And I can see exactly where they're uh, where they're getting their uh, who exactly their sources are and um, you have 31 and you see over here you all have 23 so not too far off what I like to do is um, go over and beyond the uh, the competitors and if they have 31 I go for you know somewhere in the 60s or even upwards to you know 100 to to really um, establish that uh, that dominance and it'll it'll keep you in a, a good space for you know for years to come okay so that is uh, that is what we have um, you know just uh, the content backlinks and citations if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me please um, I, like I said my name is Malcolm the information will be right below this video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the information and you have a great day okay thank you so much